hello and of course welcome to the channel i am on sporting bet of course the best bookmarker by far so what i have here is uh, i want to open up these champion league matches before i show you this market that i want to show you so i will show you only probably three or four matches have a look at the yellow cards in this particular match from the first half you can see here there were one two three four five yellow cards and by the way this was a high magnitude match these are two good teams so you were expecting to see such balance of yellow cards for both sides and it's five i want us to just check average and by monarch this was a walkover i'm not expecting any yellow cards for buying at least one. Oh, okay not even one three yellow cards for uh, Lazio and it makes sense because they are the weaker side in this case uh, Bayern I'm expecting a balance of yellow card as well here yeah? or, or let's see oh Napoli okay yeah oh there's no balance it's actually two yellow card here and three because oh it's actually three yellow card yeah damn this is impossible only for Barcelona ah Barcelona is weak these days I consider this as a weak match again I doubt if they will win even this Barcelona is a weak nonsense side. It's no longer strong. Okay, uh, this match, uh, a high magnitude match as this. Well, you can see there's a balance of yellow card 2-2. Two, two, and then three yellow card for, oh, that was second half. So it's three plus two, so it's five. Yeah, there's a nice balance here because that's a high magnitude match. Same goes to the one. This one is a high magnitude match. These are two good teams. I expect a balance. Oh shit, there's too much for Atletico. So it's four yellow cards for Atletico and two for this one. So it's six. Okay, even this one, damn, I think this is a good match. I expect a balance of yellow cards, if there are any. Oh, okay, more of a balance. One, two, it's three. All right, I think we are done now. Why I was showing you this? Because um, let's just make an example with this Man City versus Copenhagen match. I want us to go to this market because people have been asking whether is there a market, a good market for cards, yellow cards or red cards, whatever the case might be. Well, let me show you. Here is it. This is where you come. You come on this tab on Sporting Bet, if you're using Sporting Bet, and then here we are. There are actually good markets when it comes to yellow cards or red cards, whatever. Just say cards, yeah. For instance, this one. I like this one because if you know what is the average like the average cards that can be uh, issued out in particular matches like in matches such as you wait for champions league like we have just seen now i mean i'm not talking crap you've just seen now i've checked almost i don't know five up all the matches even last week matches you've seen there's not even a single match without a yellow card because this is a champions league it's a tough 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 game Meaning, everyone wants to win it. All these teams that are here are strong teams. So, the average was, the least was three yellow cards. So, this option, which is called this one, over 2.5. That means they're in a match. This means that there will be more than two yellow cards. It's either three or more yellow cards. So, what does that mean? This means that... If you're betting this or if you are betting this on all those matches trust me you are going to make money because i mean if you have such odds 1.5 and then you choose maybe 10 times who you're going to have money then just put 100 bucks you can get 2k nicely easy you know what i mean so such um markets for cards are available and such options you can choose them once you do these such analysis that we just did now let's look for something better in terms of these cards as you can see it's not only one there's a lot of op options when it comes to cards look at this look at this man city yellow cards okay you can check cards for man city you know what i mean uh cards for copenhagen look at this look at this Oh, okay i don't like these but these are just options and here's another one this is called yellow card match bet so it's like you are betting on a winner here in terms of yellow cards remember you've seen a match there for bayern munich bayern munich versus lazio and bayern munich was a walkover for uh i'm opening hollywood now where is that okay i've already closed it but you've seen the bayern munich 
beating Leipzig. Uh, 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 I mean, not Leipzig, Lazio, 3 0. That was yesterday's match. And this option was going to be suitable for that. Why? I've even told you without even checking that match that I expect a lot of yellow cards for Lazio and at least one or none for Bayern Munich. So for such matches, why I was so confident? It's because for such matches with uh, an obvious winner, you know, whereby, you know, there's one team that will bully the other and then you have one weak team. That weak team is definitely going to try by all means to win the ball in a match. Is going to try by all means to to score you know i mean everything is going to be difficult for them because they are a weak team so i do expect that team to struggle a little bit so they must concede a lot of fouls so meaning they must get a yellow a yellow cards i mean that's just my analysis i mean it makes sense and most of the time it happens like that and even on this one by the end of this match just check your yellow cards man city will have maybe one yellow card you know what i mean at most maybe two but that team i can expect four five yellow cards in that match because they are the weak side so such options is also available if you do your analysis properly so that's just one of it and let's see last yellow card there's just plenty of options here both teams shown a yellow card look at this oh look at this and we've just mentioned now i've just showed you now uh, 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 when i was doing some checking of yellow cards i showed you matches between a PSG and Sociedad. I told you that was a high magnitude match. I showed you a match between Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid. I showed you that was a high magnitude match. I also showed you a match between um, can't for, I can't remember now. I a little bit forget. But I've showed you all the magnitude, the high magnitude. It's a bit that I've closed this app. I don't know why. But all the high magnitude matches. And during high magnitude matches, expect yellow cards for both teams. A little bit of a balance between those two. You understand what I mean? So that's just a hint for you. For those who are looking for a market in terms of cards, these are the markets. If you just followed what I did now before I came here. What I did, I just showed you every, 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 every possibility. Showed you an analysis of two strong teams. Showed you an analysis of a stronger team and a weaker team. What possible option that you can play. And this is the last option that you can play now for high magnitude matches. Two strong teams. I even showed you Dortmund and PSV. That's a strong match. I mean, that's that, that that's a that's a big clash. So you do expect yellow cards there. Even if maybe it's Newcastle versus Atletico Madrid, that's a clash. Those are more or less the same teams. Even the odds will suggest that. If you don't know who is the strongest, check the odds. The odds will more will be more or less the same. But for such matches like this one, you'll notice the odds. Check the odds for instance. Let me just show you the odds. Look at this. There's a huge difference in terms of the odds. Look at Man City to win. And look at this one to win. 18. That's madness. So you can see why uh, it's so easy to, 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 to win and get a, a suitable market to bet with this yellow card thing. You can see that both teams shown a yellow card. It's, it's a simple yes. Not for this match though. Man City might not get a yellow card. Yet. But for other matches, high magnitude matches, it's a simple yes. So that's an option. So for those who are looking for options to bet on cards, so here's the options that uh, here's the options that I have for you. If you're using Sporting Bet, I'll probably show you on the next video for those who are using Hollywood. But it's quite the same thing. It's quite easy. You just go on cards and then place your bets. You know what to do if you want uh, more of these videos. You just have to subscribe. And then I'll give you everything. And you can also ask questions. I mean, if you have... A request or you want me to post a video or a particular video of a certain market explaining certain market i can do that i don't mind but if you want more of my videos uh, explaining quite a lot of markets on spotting bet the best bookmarker by far just subscribe to the channel so that you can be able to see more